Now, effectsapps.com offers a booking system that's simple and easy to use. However, if you're interested in integrating your existing booking system, here's what you need to do. We're going to add a custom page. We're going to rename it book. This is where people are going to go to book an appointment. Then we can change our icon. But let's start off by finding an icon that we can add to our app. Let's start by going to google.com. Now I'm going to type in, I want this icon to be a calendar. So I'm simply going to type in the word calendar icon and PNG. Whenever you're looking for something, you want to add the word icon and PNG behind it. Now it's going to show me tons of options here. I'm going to go ahead and click on images. And what I'm looking for is one that has a transparent background and may be easy to identify. Even though this one is not colorful, we'll be able to upload it and be able to have it blend in with the app. I'll show you what I mean later. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to downloads. And I'm going to go back to features and I'm going to add a new icon and I'm going to find that image. Here goes the calendar. I'm going to upload that into effectsapps.com. Then I'm going to mark this off where it says make this image. When I do that, it will actually take on whatever color the app becomes. That's why it's best to choose one that's not too colorful and that's a PNG file and very easy to identify. So there you go. Now the name of this page is book. The icon is a calendar. And now we're going to begin adding sections to our app. What I like to do is add a slider image. What the slider image is going to allow me to do is to continue to brand my app. So I'm going to go ahead and add a photo of the logo of the barbershop. Let me go ahead and hit save and we'll see this happening live. And now there you go. My logo is being represented at the top of my page. Right below that, I'm going to add a barber. So I'm going to add another slider so that I can add another image that represents the barber. So I do have a photo here of a barber holding a set of shears. I'm going to go ahead and upload that image as well. And let's see what that looks like now. So now I have the shop's logo and I have a photo of the barber. Right below that, I'm going to add a button. Now, in this button, it's telling me, it's giving me several different options to choose from. I can make it a phone so that when I tap it, it calls a phone number. I can make it a link so that when I tap it, it takes me to a link. Or I can make it an email so that when I tap it, it sends me to send an email. In this case, I'm going to make it a link. This is going to be our book appointment button. Now, we do want to add a custom icon to this because when we add it, it will give us um, a default icon and we don't want to show that one. So let's go back to Google and get another icon. I like this one here. It does have a transparent background. So I'm going to go ahead and use a colorful one this time. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that here as a custom icon. And there you go. It's now been added. So let's recap. I added a button. I tapped on link. I uploaded an icon to represent that link. And then this is going to say book with and the barber's name here is Tyree. Now I need Tyreek's link. Now I already know that Tyreek is using Acuity scheduling. So if you have Booksy or Style C or Gen Books or any other booking system, you can simply add it, add your booking link right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the booking link there. And this is what we've ended up with. We now have our shop logo, a photo of the barber, and right below that, book with Tyree. Now, I also like to add another button below that so that we can see Tyreek's Instagram. So I added another button. I'm going to hit the button link and I'm going to add a icon of 
Instagram's logo right here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that icon. So what we're going to end up with is a button that says book with Tyreek. And then we'll also put his Instagram profile right below him so that people can see his latest work on Instagram. So here we go. I just copied and paste Instagram.com forward slash I am Tyreek Jackson. And then right above that, I'm going to go ahead and put the name of his Instagram. So that'll be the label. And right below it, it'll say Instagram. So let's see what that looks like. So now there you go. I have the logo of the shop, photo of Tyreek, and book with Tyreek, and also his Instagram that if I click on that, it'll take me to his Instagram page so I can see his latest haircuts.